если нарушаешь закон, так как это информационное пространство, бояться. So as far as blogosphere is an informational sphere, if you break the law, the danger is a prison. Yeah. Then, uh, if the other thing as far as it's like an internet space, you should be afraid of hackers. And the third thing is, if you get really deep into it and it becomes your obsession, you should be afraid of getting um, one of the psychological diseases or like psychological deviations. Because you come, um, blogosphere is a completely different space. And if you come from a family where you have a piano, your mother, like a doctor of science or whatever, you get it's a completely different um, circle of people. And this is where you can have the so-called emotional collisions. And this is danger number three. What's the worst thing about the internet right now? And what do you see on the internet? that you just really hate, that just really bothers you? So, basically I don't see any big problem on the internet. It's like this famous combination of 2 to 8 or 1 to 4. 20% of any social group are adequate, 80% are idiots. Mm. And the same tendency we have in any kind of social community. So, uh, the main two inevitable combinations that come together with the internet is uh, ability to stay anonymous and the freedom of, and the freedom of speech, the freedom of expressing yourself. So, and speaking about social problems, it's pretty hard to say, but if you get deprived of this anonymousness and the freedom, this is where the problem might begin. Um, our blog's the r rough first draft of history that newspapers and journalism used to be, and does that make you feel like you're involved in the creation of something historic? Uh, how long do you think your blogging will last? Is this something you see yourself doing for the rest of your life? And is this something you see living on after you're gone? You're probably going to have to read all of those out like one at a time uh, and, and ask them in, in the series. Uh, no. So speaking about the first question, the first rough first draft of history. Mm -hmm. So it used to be that like this, that people only walked. Mm -hmm. Then they invented a car. And if we create a teleportation, it would be really easy to run. So and blocks for people became like cars for the pedestrians. Yes. If you have a like a paper day, paper dairy, you could show them to somebody or just keep it to yourself. And if you decide to show it to no matter who, you can show it to like maximum five people. Like here, you can show it to the rest of the world. And the only issue is whether people are interested in what you're writing or not. So um, I wouldn't put them in one row together with newspapers and journalism. It's kind of a way, it's not even a medium, but this is a way of, um, the mean of communication, and that's it. Okay. Uh,